Yo, what's up, guys? I'm playing Bacon Buddy. I remember this guy. Strong player. He goes A6, right? I, oh, no, he didn't this time. One time he went A6 against me, and I messed up. Last time he played this line, I played a really nice game to defeat him. That looks like a horrendous move, but alright. I'm going to start with Knight B3. He wants to stop Bishop G5, but he, at the same time he's losing a tempo to do it. So maybe I should play like some aggressive moves. I'm not sure. He's going to get castled next move. Alright, whatever. Put the bishop in a square. It's interesting. It's h6. There must be some issue with it, but I couldn't figure out what it was. And this is not a position where it makes sense to spend a lot of time, because it's kind of peaceful. Um, h3 somehow seems fine. I think queen d2 next move with bishop h5, yeah. Because queen d6, bishop c5. And otherwise, bishop f4. Because the whole key, you want to trade this bishop. Uh, his bishop is a good attacking piece. And we kind of want to trade down into an endgame where his d5 pawn becomes more of a weakness. That looks horrible. Alright, I'm just going to do this. I guess he wanted to keep things out of the uh, c5 square. I don't think he'll take, but I'll pre-move it just in case. So, I think I have a small advantage. He has no compensation for his isolated pawn, in my in my humble opinion. And we're going to see if we can outplay him. His rating was higher last time we played, I think. I don't like that move. I don't know. I mean, knight g5 is interesting. It's going to make me calculate stuff, but it's really tempting. Let's say bishop c7, queen c7, knight g5, bishop e2 is forced. Rook takes, pawn takes, queen g5, knight e6. Eh, sure it's okay for me, but I have a good feeling about this. Nah, you know what? What about bishop g5? Pawn takes, queen takes. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> Forget about this crap. I'm just going to go... One of these knights to d4. I guess this one. This guy made me waste a lot of time calculating knight g5. It's brutal. This guy's tricky. He's English. You know, these English guys play like tr play for tricks, pretty much. Um, I kind of like this move. Just trade the bishops. Whatever. Just go down to this endgame and try to win where he has an isolated pawn I'm going to take this for some reason I think he has to take with the queen and then 95 looked good to me I'm just going to do it, I don't know if it's really good but you know I'll just trade everything on, on g6 worst case I'm just better. I'm just going to play the simple way, I think. Also playable is knight g4. Nah, I just let's play like a wuss. Total wuss chess, but he's just much worse. His weak pawns. Unpleasant position every which way. I don't know, queen d4? Probably. Just blockade. If, if queen c5, I don't know, like queen f6 should be good. Rook e3, rook e5, so many good looking moves. I'm going to play this one. I'm going to hope rook f3 is annoying. Well, I can take a queen h8 and win a pawn. It's probably the safest bet. Rook f3 is also good. I'm just going to do this.
If queen f8, queen e5 to d5. I think I should check first. I'll just take it. Now I'll check. He has to avoid me making a check that trades his queen. Also, oh wow. I just realized I don't have any more checks. So. It's kind of annoying actually. I found a good move. I think this. It's not so easy though. I wanted it to be easier, and he's found a way to just make my life a little difficult. That guy's a tricky guy. I gotta move fast. make a check for fun. Make another fun check. Oh, this is good. I'm going to take the, take the b-pawn to check. Ah, right, Jesus Christ. I, I forgot I could... I don't even understand that move. Um, he could have done... I've taken an F2, right? No, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to make some checks here. <laughs> I don't know exactly if I'm doing the right stuff, but it looks still pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm... Um, alright, I'll take it. I, th yeah, he doesn't have any checks, and I'm going to have a lot of them, so he should just be lost. Well, he's definitely lost. It's just a question of how easy it's going to be for me to finish him off. I'm going to make a lot of checks to give me some time to relax here. Alright. He has no checks, so... I'm going to slowly push the pawn up the board. I just want to get my king safe first. Let's make some more checks. Oh, it's just one check. Alright. No more checks. Maybe get my queen to f3 or something. Uh, I'll make a check for fun. No idea why I just did this. Draw. I'm worried that I just repeated too many times. So I'm just playing that move instantly. <laughs> in case he was going to press draw. I, I was worried that was a three time rep. Cool. Game's over. <whistles> OMG! Why is he saying OMG? <laughs> Dumb up two pawns. <laughs> well, you say eventually I'm gonna win. Come on, dude. Who's this guy again? Marcus Harvey. Yeah, his rating was higher. I don't know what happened. Should have played queen b6 last instead of b6. What does he mean? Queen d6 instead of b6. Um, I don't know what he's talking about. Um, 
No worries at all. Come on, it's a quiz game. I mean, it's a. I think no worries at all is a very strong, strong uh, way of phrasing it. If you guys are seeing these messages, uh, what he's saying is, oh, okay, B6 just positioned me weak. Um, Queen F6. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Knight, knight D4 maybe. Still feel like I have a nice, pleasant enough position. But uh, yeah, I thought B6 was positionally weird. Whatever, man. I'll take the win. I was wondering why you say, oh my god, OMG at the end of that game. Because, you know, I mean, I was just up two pawns. I was obviously going to win. It was just, um... There was one where, the one where he was, uh... I actually want to look at that, see if it was three-time ref. I, so I was worried we had this position. One. Two. Three. So I think if he pressed draw, it might have been a draw, so I instantly played this move. Knowing that, um... I, I think it was three-time repetition. Lucky me. Yeah, he wasn't just alert enough to it. Because I knew some, you know, we made some weird checks in the meantime, but I think he had it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.